For a word not yet in the Oxford English Dictionary, precarity is in heavy use. It's used to discuss lived insecurity that appears to be increasing. So precarity seems to grow from an absence, so a sense or lived experience of uncertainty, insecurity and instability that's felt on a practical and emotional level. Precarity is then about much more than employment, yet emerges from it. My project, Uncertain Futures, seeks to understand how those in more indeterminate class spaces and places between the traditional middle and working classes are living precarity. And this is particularly pertinent for young people given the apparent stagnation or even reversal of social mobility with the stripping of middling style occupations from the economy. The focus of my research is Ingleby Barwick here in Teesside, home to 21,000 residents. The commencement of building of Ingleby in the late 1970s corresponds with a period of polarisation for the working class, leading to the growth of a new middle. This was strongly supported in political rhetoric that was used to argue for the end of class structure in turn. Yet performance anxiety seems endemic in this new status formation. Friedman talks of transfugees, the upwardly socially mobile who struggle to belong in the class destination they aspire to join, but no longer do in that that they left behind. Um, social mobility requires detachment and reattachment to class cultures, and these can often be partial and incomplete, causing uncertainty and insecurity. Ingleby has a distinct identity and reputation across Teesside. To local people, it's a place bound up in class complexity. Those arriving here from local working class areas had seemingly made it. Ingleby is a fantastical destiny of class. It's a place where those who Lola would describe as getting out and getting away might seek to go. Yet this winning at life, as one participant put it to me, by getting to Ingleby seems to be at a cost. Abandoning your roots to better yourself appears to garner little respect and admiration from those left behind, or from those who the new middle creep up to from beneath. Um, as one participant put it to me, um, it's always claimed that they're drinking carling out of Stella glasses. Um, known to some as Spam City, this is also known to others as Toy Town, and when you push T-siders to explain what this means, they'll they'll explain that it pertains to its inauthenticity, to a plastic, unreal or make-believe status of place and residence. This is about possessions and buildings, but fundamentally it's about identities. The myth of meritocracy that's ingrained in social mobility ties upwards and downwards mobility to moral worth, denying and covering up inequality. Understanding the nuances of human relationships and the embodiments of class conflict is found in the socially mobile is vital for understanding the UK today. Thank you.